it's a shame for the Midlands. I mean, I, I, I have no feelings towards Villa e, 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 for or against, really, but um, I think the club's not being run very well, if you have believe what the fans say. I think it's really good that the fans are kind of getting up and standing up for themselves and kind of representing their own views. I think that's good. Oh, it's quite poor, really, isn't it? Let's face it. You've got the Aston Villa going. So I've got a lot of friends that support the local teams, and um, so a bit of banter with them. But yeah, it's, it's quite poor. It'd be nice to see more of them all in the Premier League. You know, so you've got a bigger presence in the Premier League. What's the Villa dropping down? Wolves out coming up. Birmingham are down. It's only going to have Albion, really. Disappointing. I mean, their new managers. I mean, their new owners. I think they don't really care about the actual club itself. I mean, they've got a great history, but I mean, going back. I mean, they just don't seem like they care. They sold Benteke, they sold Delph, and now they're just not going to replace them. I mean, they've only got one way, and it's just going down now, so, yeah. I think they've got what they, they deserved, really. Um, they, they had a poor manager to start with, and they replaced him with another poor manager, and uh, they are where, where they are because of their own doings. Um, I don't think it's a, a quick fix. I think probably what will happen to them is similar to what happened to the Wolves. They might, they might go down, they might struggle again next season. But actually, in hindsight, I say I'm not a Wolves fan either. I think that was a really good thing for the Wolves. They got rid of a lot of the players who were probably not on, on big, who were on big wages, who weren't probably putting their best into the club. So, it sounds awful really, but I think relegation will probably end up in the long term to be probably quite a good thing for the Villa. But it won't feel like that to the fans, it'll feel like the worst thing that's ever happened to them. Yeah, I think the only club that's done that bad is Derby in the, in the past. I mean, was it around like six, 16 or 19 points? That's so embarrassing, yeah. I mean, a couple of my friends um, are Villa fans and they get a lot of stick, so. <laughs> it's going to be an hard league for them to get out of. What's actually going to happen to them, I, I would like to say, really. But, but you know, they've got, they've got a good sort of squad there, but there's a lot, a lot of players who will just want to leave because they don't want to play in the Championship. You know, their egos are bigger than their actual uh, whatever, so it's going to be a hard league for them to come out of. I can see them not bouncing straight back. I think it might be sort of like a two, three year plan. But it'd be nice to have them back in there. For Villa in particular, I think they're going to be down for a while because they say the championship's the hardest, you know, league to get out of itself. So, you know, I just don't know what they're going to do. If I'm being honest. For these teams to really sort of try and compete with the big boys, they've got to spend their money, haven't they? So, although Mr. Peace has, you know, he's, he's ran the Albion as a proper business, but ultimately he hasn't got the the cash to put in as he anymore, I guess. And to really sort of give yourself a chance, you need that. So I can understand, but them being for sale, it's I think that's a sad indictment on our football, to be honest.